pay $5,000. I'll write that in my checkbook. Okay. Wait, what are you doing? I have to pay $5,000. I'm writing in my checkbook so I can keep track of my money. Do you, don't you have like a checkbook thing? I mean, I do. Uh... Chelsea! <laughs> if you don't keep track of your money, like, you're gonna go into debt or overdraw. Like, how do you not know how much money you have? Yeah! Payday! I'm gonna go buy a boat. Have you been budgeting for a boat? Budgeting? Yeah, I know we learned about this in finance class. There's like, you make like a form and you fill stuff out for certain things. A form? I, yeah, I remember having a form. Oh, you have a form with you. Yeah. I see that. See? Oh, it's uh, it's uh, empty. Chelsea! <laughs> You need to like set your priorities and allocate your spending money on like important things uh, on your budget. Okay. Oh, my house flooded. I'll have to take out a loan to pay off the damage. Payday! You know what, I'll just go ahead and pay off my student loans because I have the money too. Wait, how did you pay off student loans and debt so fast? Well, every time I get paid, I always set a portion of my paycheck aside to help pay off my student loans and debt. And I always want to pay the ones with the most interest first because that money just builds up off of each other and then you have more loans that you have to pay for. Well, why don't I just get a credit card to pay off my loans? Chelsea! I'm trying here! Taxes? Well, I guess I'll pay with my card because I don't have any cash. More debt? So did you already pay your taxes? Yeah, I did that close to the first of the year and I also made sure that I checked it and made sure that I did it right. I had somebody else check it. Oh, and I also kept track of my deductions. Um, so yeah. Have you done your taxes yet? Yeah, like 10 seconds ago. Chelsea! You should have done your taxes earlier. They were due six months ago. That's why you have all these fees. So, should I sell my boat? How did you do so well with your finances? I'm stuck with all this debt and no money. Well, I made sure to put God first. And I involved him in all my different transactions in my budget. And it's just good to remember that God owns it all. But how do you put God first in your finances? Well, whenever I make my budget, I always put categories like tithing, giving, and donations. And I make sure to do those kind of the very first things. And I also pray about my financial decisions, whether they seem easy or hard. Chelsea! Would you like to pray about your finances? Sure.